Across Eastern Health, this has been a year of great success and many remarkable endeavors. Achieving Eastern Health's goals for this fiscal period has been possible thanks to our employees, physicians, volunteers, fundraising and community partners, and government. Eastern Health's mission is to improve programs and services within its four strategic priorities, including population health, sustainability, quality and safety, and access. Eastern Health's beautiful St. John's long-term care facility opened its doors on September 15, 2014. This state-of-the-art facility provides quality care to residents and includes special design features such as a wandering loop and an outside garden which is accessible to residents with dementia who require protective care and young adults with severe physical disabilities. This modern facility also includes space for recreation, physio and occupational therapy, support services, and much more. In October 2014, Eastern Health celebrated the opening of its 12-bed protective care residence in Bonavista for individuals with moderate to severe dementia. Here, local residents have access to quality and specialized care that is designed to meet their unique living requirements. Eastern Health is well prepared to manage Ebola virus disease cases should they present in Newfoundland and Labrador. Over the last fiscal year, the organization developed and implemented a number of protocols and processes, including ensuring employees had access to and training to use enhanced personal protective equipment, achieving Ebola virus disease preparedness education for employees, developing guidance documents and tools, leading and participating in simulated emergency preparedness exercises, and creating education materials for patients and families. The organization collaborated with other jurisdictions and programs, such as the Department of Health and Community Services, other regional health authorities, Public Health Agency of Canada, and the RNC. With generous supports received from the Canada Post Community Foundation and the Janeway Children's Hospital Foundation, Eastern Health launched its first ever health-related mobile app called Bridge the Gap. Inspired by the Bridges Program Waiting Room, which is filled with artwork created by patients, including drawings, poems, quotes and songs, the app aims to support and promote mental wellness among youth across Newfoundland and Labrador. The app gives youth the opportunity to encourage their peers to ask for help and covers a variety of topics such as bullying, relationships, identity and image, family, grief and loss to name a few, Plus, it provides youth with access to a variety of mental health resources, support lines, and more. In September 2014, Eastern Health celebrated the opening of the Tuckamore Centre, a treatment centre in Paradise for youth between the ages of 12 to 18 throughout the province who are faced with complex mental health issues. Named after the Tuckamore tree because they are known for surviving and thriving in the harsh coastline environments of Newfoundland and Labrador, the name of the facility reflects the resilience of youth and their potential to overcome and flourish despite the challenges they face. The centre provides access to specialised treatment and can accommodate up to 12 individuals in a safe and structured home-like environment. It also features a school area, a multi-purpose room, a physical fitness area and dedicated space for family visiting overnight. Initiated in 2012 through a benchmarking process, Eastern Health has furthered its operational improvement initiatives with the objective to return the organization to a balanced budget without compromising patient, client or resident care. The organization is continuing work to improve on identified areas as outlined in its annual performance report 2014 to 2015. Furthering its operational improvement initiatives demonstrates Eastern Health's commitment to the Government of Newfoundland and Labrador's direction of being an accountable, sustainable, quality health and community services system. The Community Development Fund, valued at $50,000, was first established in 2007 by Eastern Health's Board of Trustees to provide grants to community organizations and groups that identify and take action on priority health and wellness needs within their communities. Awarding these funds annually gives Eastern Health the opportunity to connect with some of the most innovative and committed groups and organizations in our region. Up to the fiscal year 2014-15, a total of 52 grants have been awarded to community partners and organizations for a total of over $390,000. 
These are just some of the many great things Eastern Health has accomplished over the last fiscal year. Going forward, we remain committed to continue improving all programs and services for the benefit of our patients, clients, and residents.